Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to read and write text files using path objects in Python. In the previous video we created a path object named corpus underscore dir which points towards a directory with some text files. We then used the glob method of the path object to collect all the text files and cast them into a list under the variable files. This gave us a Python list with three path objects that point towards text files in the directory. Next, we're going to loop over each file, read the file contents, perform some modifications, and write the results to disk. To do so, we need to define a for loop. We use the variable file to refer to each item, that is, each path object that we pick up from the list named files. Path objects have a method named readText for reading the text contents of a file. This method opens the file for reading, reads the file contents, that is the text, and closes access to the file. Here we call this method and provide the argument encoding with the value utf8 to declare that the files are utf8 encoded. We then store the resulting text under the variable text. Next, we apply a regular expression that we compiled in a previous video to the text stored under the variable text. Essentially, we use the regular expression to replace excessive punctuation with empty strings using the sub method. We store the result under the variable mod underscore text. We then define a new file name for storing the modified texts. To do so, we create a string with the text mod underscore which we join with the string that's stored under the attribute name of the path object under the variable file. This contains the name of the file in question. We store the resulting file name under the variable new underscore file name. Next, we create a new path object to which we provide two inputs. First, we provide the string data, which points towards the directory name data, and then the variable new file name which refers to the file name that we just created. We store this path object under the variable new underscore path. Next we use a formatted string to print a status message about the process. Formatted strings begin with the letter F which allows inserting variables into the strings using curly brackets. In this case, we use the brackets to insert the path to which we are writing to the status message. Finally, we call the writeText method from the new path object and write the modified text under the variable mod underscore text to this file using UTF-8 encoding. As you can see, Python prints out our status messages about writing the modified text to the files. If we take a look at the directory name data, we can see that we now have three text files with the prefix mod, which suggests that the operation was successful. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.